we are back at the Pelican for the Portobello Film Festival. And we've got with us today Matt Pat Platzmiller, who's made not one, not two, but three films at this Portobello Film Festival. How did you get so busy, Matt? Can you talk us through these three films, please, Matt? It'll be my pleasure. Yeah. Well, the first film I made, uh, which I made about two or three years ago, and it took forever to make. We shot it on Super 16. Uh, and it's just, uh, film is a real, as I'm sure you're well aware, it's really quite difficult to work with. And then the second two films are a result of a competition I entered uh, at the beginning of the year, and we shot it on HDV. And I realised that actually you could just shoot stuff incredibly quickly, and it looks good. We did the whole thing in two weeks, uh, including from writing it, shooting it, and editing it. And after that I realised you, well, you could just do something in two weeks. You know? It's really cheap, it looks great, and you get stories across. Uh, so we went lot ahead and made comedy at the beginning of the year, which isn't being shown here, uh, a sort of sci-fi horror, and then a uh, social realist drama as well. If you need anyone to help you on this uh, science fiction uh, horror thing, we got you know plenty of ugly bastards. We can send you away. <laughs> All right. That's uh, Matt um, Platts Mills at the Portobello Film Festival. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> TV, well, be honest, you don't get a clue, something like crop up. But at the moment, uh, here's a clip of our old mate Jake Arnott, the book writer. In terms of, in terms of, of, of what I learnt from, from hanging around this area at that time, I suppose, I don't know, the, the, there's, the area does have, I mean, I suppose it still has a lot of character, but back then there was a kind of, there was all sorts of different levels. Um, and, um, you know, there's a big kind of squatting scene. There was there was the kind of rock and roll things going on. Um, of course, all the Afro Caribbean stuff. Mm. Uh, and and I suppose like in lots of ways, what I write about is those parts of London where all these things sort of rub up against each other. Um, mm. I mean, I, I, I I've, I've written a bit about this area, but not very much. Uh, I mean, Rackman, of course, turns up in the first book, and. Um, you know, the, the, the feeling of, of kind of West 11 around that time was, 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 was very different than it is now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Rackman himself is an extraordinary sort of character. And, and the people he had as his, um, as, his, as his rent collectors, like Michael X. Uh, he was Michael DeFreitas back then, just off the boat from Trinidad. A bit of a wide boy, who then becomes like Britain's kind of black power leader. <laughs> Something new and ugly raises its head in Britain. Coming to me earlier, a mile or two from London's West End. Raise your